We have finished the Rembrandt arc. Basically, everybody's cured. We even have a new servant, except like Tomoe basically hired the silver hair guy to be her like spy. I wonder if this is going to be like a joke running gag or if he's going to be actually useful. Who really knows? I think that what else really happened last episode? That's pretty much it. We just solved everything. Tomoe got a spy and we're just going to the next arc. Let's begin today's reaction. He beat their ass so hard, their troops have lost confidence. <laughs> How hard did you beat him? <laughs> Little Tomoe is very cute. I don't think we've ever seen them fucking train either. Head? Eat for dinner? <laughs> Grandmommy, is she older? I volunteer. I want to join. I want to join. Is Mio actually older? Fight it out. To the Alke? Oh, the spiders that turn into like humans. She changes so quickly. Demi playing ranking. Ranking among stars. Are monsters? Is he eavesdropping using his barrier? Or his domain move? Listening Kai. It's just like you can add any word Kai, some verb Kai, and it'll just make sense because you can do anything within this like domain. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, she's scuffing it down! <laughs> Random ass scene with Mio just eating so much! No one can touch him? Dude, Mio is going hard! What? She's eating so much! So if it's called a demi-human rankings, demi-plane rankings, then it's gonna be like a ranking of different subgroups within this plane. So who is like the top tier monster here? There's like... I don't know, dwarves don't really fight. There are the lizards, the spiders, and the orcs. I wonder who the strongest are. <laughs> she is fucking feasting. Tomatoes are great. What's she gonna do? Wait, I don't feel good about this. What's she gonna do with the tomato? Less than 10% is strong? Well, I thought we were all homies here. They're all secretive? They should collaborate, man. Yeah, you could like learn from each other. A tournament. Tournament amongst the demiplane monsters. Oh, it's a straight-up tournament ring, dude! It's a Budokai ring! Shit, this is gonna be good. The strongest of each species comes out and fights. That's pretty fun. This is the strongest orc? Agaresu. Liddy. Liddy versus... I feel like Liddy is a little bit more technique and, you know, nimble, while Agaresu is just a fucking big barbarian. Here we go. Oh, see? Technique! Strategy! Okay. That's a big boy strike. Damn! Mio and Tomoe does not look impressed though. Yeah. Gabina versus Gel? <laughs> Yo, let's go, Liddy! Oh, fuck. Oh! Liddy dead? Agaris wins! Orcs better than lizards confirmed or what? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> she just straight up shits on them, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, wait, oh my god, Tomoe. Because they're fucking mob characters while you guys are actual important fucking side characters. You can't compare them. <laughs> They're trying their best? Yeah! Come on! Hmm. She's being pretty unreasonable, but if you really think about it, the things that she is saying, she truly does care for them. 
So she's saying what? Just because you're not actual main character and side supporting cast, you think you can just get away at this level? Like you should be better? I get that. I totally get that. It's just the way that she's doing it is just so fucking mean. <laughs> you're a bunch of nobodies. Now, why can't Horikita Suzune, why can't she do this to her class and unite them? Because it looks like Tomoe is about to unite them by just shitting on them right now. <laughs> it's kind of working though. <laughs> it's working! Ooh, I like this, okay. Once a week, you get this like little tournament thing going on. Alright, alright. But like, isn't it just gonna be orcs versus lizardmen every time? Because the dwarf and the alki, they don't really do anything. And where's the spiders? Are they even fighting? That's the whole point. Because you want to learn from each other. If they won't talk to each other and fucking collaborate, then this is a good way to kind of just like... You know, reveal the tactics towards each other. Yo, oh, Tomoe is looking very competent right now. Her leadership is quite good. What if she just copying these lines from a samurai movie she remembered once? I bet she just fucking role playing right now. These are all movie lines. It sounds really cool, but okay. Warriors of honor. Damn! <laughs> Find a different... I mean, she's not really shitting on other people, but she's basically saying, Oh, you don't want to be warriors? You weak pieces of shit? Then go be a fucking blacksmith like that fucking dwarf over there. <laughs> oh, a final word? Um, Good luck. What do we even say? Alright. Hey, yeah, encourage them a little bit. Yeah, nice speech. Tomoe from specifically. The ranking wars, dude. Demi plane ranking. Okay, we're re registering again. What's our levels? Oh, we increased by like 200 something? It used to be like 1300 something. Mio was slightly lower, but I expect Tomoe to be way higher because she went on that like training montage. She stayed the same. Wait, was Tomei 1320 or was she always 1340? Because if not, she only either increased by 20 or she's remaining the same. What the fuck? What? But she was out there. Cutting shit. All, all that cutting shit did... What the... F what, 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 what did Mio... Was Mio always higher? Oh, am I getting it wrong? Uh, you guys are telling me all these words. Mio was higher with 1500? So you're telling me Mio was... I'm getting some I, I I'm getting some information wrong. So Mio was always higher before. So basically they're just kind of remaining the same right now. So it's interesting that Mio was already 1500, Tomoe was 1320. Interesting that the training only increased it by 20 points, increasing that the EXP gain at this level is extremely hard. Something like that. <laughs> like like you ever play Maple Story? And like the level cap, like it, once like Back in the day, getting from level 1 to 30 was already a feat. 1 to 70 was fucking insane, but between like 70 to 120 and beyond. Like, the EXP, the curve, it's so fucking steep. So, maybe the 20 levels at that range, you know, is already like really crazy. <laughs> Makoto just won't ever level up. And I think, again, it just has to do with the fact that the goddess never, never gave us powers and the god did, right? Everything like like the levels really matter to like everyone that lives here, like the random NPCs and the monsters. But we're just kind of like outside of this game. We're not even like playing the same game, are we? Oh. <laughs> right, we did that. We did do that. <laughs> <laughs> Lime Latte. It's that Latte guy. That was the magician guy, right? That ran away? 
Oh, oh yeah, the alchemy meister and our friend are like pretty high level too. Lime Latte the silver dude? My bad. CGI leaves. CGI leaves right there. CGI leaves. Don't you think that you can get away with this shit? Yeah, Hasegawa, but it's not Hasegawa. Well, it, it is, but you know. She should be able to look at the memories, right? Train her so she doesn't disturb the young master's heart further. Interesting. Tomoe, I mean, they, Tomoe and Mio are like super into Makoto, right? There is like romantic intent there. I don't even know if it's romantic. They just seem very thirsty for him sometimes. She doesn't disturb the young master's heart further. Is she trying to, what does this imply? Is she trying to like fuck her up? Or is she just trying to make sure that, you know, this, this girl is competent enough that she's not in danger and Makoto won't be worried? <laughs> Yo, they might level up a lot though with this way. This boot camp might like make them crazy cracked adventurers. <laughs> We're doing it though. This is impressive. Where's the strategy? Did you train them though? I haven't seen you train more shit! I know they're skipping it. Catch. The dwarf should be out there frontlining. The thief should come out with a blind spot. And the archer should be a little bit more back too. Aren't they though? They are, they are humans puffed up by the goddess of divine protection, right? The healer shouldn't use healing? He can use different magic? Okay. It's ineffective. So if they don't charge in like that, then we can focus on more offensive magic. Okay, she's actually teaching them. Paralyzing poison mud. Y you monkeys, why are you stepping into it? You just saw it. And now thief, get it at the end with some kill shots. I don't know. They're clever. I thought they're monkeys though. Oh! See? The monkeys are smart! Look, you guys are calling them No, they're pretty smart. Alright, pull aggro. Now, the sneaky thief attacks. Nothing personal, kid. The Toa is pretty damn cool. That knife attack was pretty cool, man. See? Way more optimal use of our individual strength. She's just making them drown? You can just do that? Oh! I guess you can just do that. You just fucking make them drown like that? Just put a bubble on them? Okay. Alright, we farmed them monkeys. Did we level up any? That's weird that the tails are still moving right now. Ah, that's venomous, you dumbass. This guy was a fucking idiot the last arc too. Remember how he kept tripping and just like throwing the potions all over the place? I guess he really is a klutz. It's fine, you got the strategy. Level is just the number. Well, it is and it isn't, right? It's not the absolute determining factor of how strong you are, but I feel like it's a pretty good measurement for people of this world that has been granted the goddess's power and protection, right? Tonight? You know what? When Tomoe has moments like this, she, like, think about it from the perspective of these people who thinks, like, Tomoe is so cool and mysterious and, like, you know, she's, like, a hard teacher and whatnot, but, like, she does, she is really cool right now. She is having a pretty cool moment, huh? Com compared to when she acts around, obviously, Makoto and everyone else, it's just, you know, she's just fawning over him, so we can't really take her seriously. But this is the cool thing about, like, different isekais where, 
like for example, even even in slime, right? When you're whenever you're around Rimuru and friends, everybody's so like just friendly and blah blah blah. But then but then when these characters go out and interact with like random you know NPCs, suddenly it's so much like more impressive. These side characters, huh? <laughs> And her strategy there was very smart, yeah. They're gonna be alright, right? No, we got strategy! Straight up, it's called Death Wish Road? Uh oh. No shot, they're already back. No shot. The aces of Sieg has arrived. Damn! Yo! Our, our, our little group is actually so strong? Two Lord Tales. They really did clear it. Masako. Like, they must be like the best party now, huh? In this town. Like, they're, 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 they're basically, everyone's gonna be, like, singing praises. They're gonna be a fucking legend here. And the soundtrack right now is kind of fucking crazy. <laughs> Legends of these great adventures will someday be passed down. Literally, bards will be singing songs around the campfire about these people, even though they feel like random NPCs to us. Ambrosia flowers? Ambrosia is the cure-all. And are those flowers here? Right, we're trying to get a monopoly on it, right? Yo, our guild card acts like a map too? We just hyped up that forest for being like Death Wish Road or something nearby it and like nobody returns alive. I wonder what the exact Rembrandt again. Again, last episode they were straight up like thinking of shit. This kid helped us, but if he's thinking about making his own company, like we need to crush them immediately. I wonder how this is gonna work. Oh, we're back. What do you allow it though? Okay. I thought I'd be hesitant about that. If I was Rembrandt, I think trying to crush Makoto's plans to become like the best merchant company is a little bit short-sighted. The smartest thing would be try to like help him right now, but then like coerce him into like a good deal where he benefits from Makoto's like, you know, as Makoto's company scales up and they basically have full distribution of Ambrosia, then Rembrandt could, you know, kind of get a good deal in, you know, because for helping him in the, in the beginning, I feel like that's a better outcome than trying to like crush him immediately and trying to have a monopoly. Oh. さて、どっか良い場所は本当は空き区画などありませんし、グズの肌の良しいのですかな。あえて自前の店舗を構えない理由はやはり。This is pretty much our exact council, huh? I mean, this is like the most important people. I thought that maybe the dwarf would eat at the same table to the elder dwarf, dwarf, but I guess not. It's Emma, Neo Tomoe, and little Tomoe. その時にスパイ活動を持ちかけてくると、商人ギルドのカードをもらった時、受付の人が断ると商売の不利益になりそうだし、どこかの店の一部を借りるしかなさそうだね。We can operate in his store. Or not? I'm confused. <笑>何かと死がらみは多いが。もうさ、ウィンク。一箇所だけ何かと死がらみは多い。ボウザウィンク。あ、I He's being a lot more helpful than I thought. I really thought that he was trying to do, like, prevent him from growing based off the last episode's discussion, but he's willing to help a lot. Too smoothly, don't you think? Is this training company ever gonna get opened? Is it even open in season two yet? Alright. We're at that death forest where ambrosia flowers are held. New party? A new party? Should they be here? Also, who is this pink hair girl? Oh, it's totally different people. Never mind. So, demi humans. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we got a, we got a, maybe they're sisters, but we got a lolly and then like an elf girl. Okay, they're like a lolly elf and a good big elf girl. Okay, all right. They really don't like humans. Maybe they can team up with us. And that's another episode of Skimichi Moonlight Fantasy. 
what even happened? It was more of like a trendy thing, right? We're kind of setting up this whole precedent of like a weekly battle so that they can get stronger and stronger. And Tomoe is pretty harsh, but her speech and her leadership capabilities, they're on point, man. It's just weird because you know, sometimes you see her just like gushing over random samurai films and whenever, you know, Mio and Tomoe are with Makoto, for example, you see Tomoe like this. But then you other see, sometimes you see Tomoe like fucking this and it's like, damn, she's really cool. And she even trained these guys too. Like these random adventures that I thought weren't such a big deal are now like the lessons of Sieg, which is, I think, one of the strongest things that you can do in an isekai show is to build up side characters, develop them, and like have some good payoff. I really do like it when they invest a lot into these side characters that you might not think is really impressive, but it's a lot more exciting because if you stay within the perspective of the main character who's OP and does all the shit so easily all the time, it's not really fun. But when you start playing around with some other people and, and, and get them involved too, it's very fun like that. So I guess Rembrandt is totally okay with helping out Makoto based on the way that he was ominously talking about Makoto's, you know, desire to grow and Hopefully it's gonna be, you know, uh, it, might, it, might, it might be competition that may be bad for his business, but he's like, all right, I'll help you out too. And we're gonna soon establish this, like, uh, the company, which I'm not sure if it's even been established in season two. Maybe he's gonna keep saying that he's gonna establish it. And finally, we have these two elf girls. We got a token lolly and hopefully a big sister type. And surely, surely we're gonna be friends with them, right? But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.